Welcome to Tibble's Apprentice. We are going to take a look at an evolution of a deck. I've been watching a lot of True Blood lately, I guess, so I decided that sucking the life out of the opponents was the way to go here. Anyhow, uh, what I didn't realize, though, is those... Uh, right there, those uh, shrines don't do me any good because they're legendary. So unless you're going to build a shrine deck, which is totally uninteractive. Oh wait, here's another uninteractive deck. I have something to interact right now and while my opponent may cry for a moment, um, yeah, he's not in that much trouble. Uh, yep, I have to uh, get the things out of his hand. I don't have enough. Oh, now he's bored with me. Well, gonna keep it positive, right? Yeah, so we're gonna see if I can actually fur the I'm going to survive this. If I can actually fight through this. We'll get this on here. And we'll hope to draw into some more hand destruction. Yeah. The fact that I get these, it's, it's no good. So, exquisite bond. That's great. But I don't have anything to back it up. Shuffler's fine, though. Nothing to see here. It's absolutely fine, folks. You're going to see that repeatedly. Uh, it's Before I go off on that tangent... I can't, it's hard not to feel that the shuffler is suspiciously broken, as well as the fact that the players you get mixed up against, the players you play against, are surprisingly limited in the pool. Now that might be because, uh, maybe I'll flash my stats up here, uh, maybe that's because less people are playing, you know, less people are playing arena than they did before. Anyhow, so this was uh, supposed to cash in on, you know, creatures dying and me being able to gain life off uh, them losing life and so on. But uh, those triggers don't really line up, and when you're playing a deck like they're playing, there's really nothing you can do about it. So I will take the damage. Uh, I will gain some life, though, from that, which is somewhat helpful. But only to a certain extent. Um, it just, magic isn't in a really creative spot right now. I just, just don't feel that. But anyhow, we're supposed to be having fun. We're supposed to be playing this game for, for the fun of it and enjoying it. And really, the only way we can do that is if we play it in person. At least that's my thought. So, we're going to see that I lose this game. Spoiler alert, despite the fact that there are four. Um, but where do we go from there? Because again, these, these things are just not interactive. So you either degenerate, you play degenerates crap, or, you know, you die. You get tongue-tied and can't speak. Yeah, so you die to degenerate crap, or you play degenerate crap. And it's just a race to see that. But let me see if I can find a way to fix this. Those aren't doing what I had hoped they were doing, and the, uh, yeah, those aren't doing at all what I do because they're legendary. So let's go in here. We're going to look for sorceries. We're going to look for something. Uh, we're going to actually get fumbled up here and look for the, we're looking for exquisite bond, and I'm thinking exquisite blood. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see what I did here. All right. Any day now. Yeah. All right. Uh, sure. Why not? This is just testing and stuff, so I can't be mad about it. There's only three games. <laughs> three games <laughs> in Magic. There's elves. There's the dragon deck. Uh, and there is what goblins. So maybe there's four. Um, anyhow, let's get that out of their hand and maybe slow them up just a little bit. Um, they're relying on being able to cast that big, bad dinosaur. Uh, I, 
can maybe stay in it if I could gain some life. Um, so it's about this time that I realized that blood on the snow actually requires that you need to have snow covered swamps. That doesn't work as well <laughs> if you don't have snow covered swamps. But anyhow, let's get a few things out here. We can uh, gain a little life here. We can steal a little life there. Um, and they got a flyer. Well, okay. From there, tap, tap, tap. One, two, three. Gain a life. Gain another life. Um, this should slow things down a little bit. We'll see how that does. All right. That does just fine. So, in theory, this deck can work under the right circumstances, even against ridiculous elf ball shenanigans. Uh, I can't talk too bad about that because I myself play elf ball commander. Um, I don't think it's too degenerate. I don't win every time with it. It is a strong deck when it can, but at this point I'm realizing that I want to cast things faster, so I need to dump some of these other side strategies and put in some shambling gas so they can die off and give me treasure tokens. That's the plan. Um, I'm thinking about doing a meat hook, but I don't think I'll do that at this time. All right, we'll get in for another quick game and see how it goes. Up against a frozen tuna. Uh, it's not exceptional and certainly not against blue. Oh, and it's going to be life gain, so that's going to be something of a problem. Oh, counter magic. Not good. All right. Stuff from the Brothers War. I haven't even cracked a pack of those yet. I will. Let's have them get rid of a couple of cards. Hand destruction is always good. Um, I will crack them. I just, I'm, I'm not as interested in arena as much these days lately, unfortunately putting everything back in their hand. I have a suspicion of what's coming. Not just because I've seen this before, but yeah, one of these bounce decks that eventually goes into a uh, ether hub and uh, then just blast the opponent. Uh, too soon to do this. Probably too soon to do the Torment of Hailfire. Uh, and yeah, I'm just not getting the mana that I need yet. Something's off with this. I'm not sure what. Though I am playing outliers here, I'm not playing the standard stuff. So, yeah, okay. That's... Alright, what are they going to fish for? They're going to get something. Oh, yeah, that's what they're going to get. Either out. Well, alright. So, my only chance here is... Drop this on the board. Might as well do this now. See what value I can stretch, stretch out of this. Um, yeah. Gaining life. Doing good on that. I need to cash that in for a more viable resource, though. Because this is where it all starts to go downhill. Everything goes back into his hand. That was all super cheap stuff to cast. So, his life total is going to grow exponentially. Uh, I don't know. Could I benefit from that? Probably not. Having an ether hub in my deck. Anyhow, let's get rid of that. We're both at 33. He has all the time in the world, though, at this point. Because I don't have anything that clears the board. As much as people complain that white does everything these days, uh, it still has its weaknesses. Excuse me, black has its weaknesses. And so does my computer, evidently. That was nearly a crash. Another ether hub? Yeah. No problem as he builds up and builds up and builds up. And I think at this point I'm going to bail. Anyhow, this was a quick look at a deck that is a work in progress. If you have any suggestions on how I might build this more efficiently, that is taking advantage of the life gain, let me know. 
at this point, it's just waiting out. I mean, certainly he can uh, just dump his 50 life and blast me. But, like a mouse toying with its food, I'm bored. I'm out of here. Boom. All right. Do I make any more changes? I don't think I do. Anyhow, just some quick shenanigans for the afternoon. And um, what do I go in here to try to add? Uh, I'm, oh, this is why I'm looking for the uh, exquisite pond. But I'm not smart enough to spell it, so it doesn't happen yet. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.